and we want to get out live now to News 8's Joe LaVergi, who just arrived in Gaylor. Joe, what are you seeing there? Yeah, Michelle, we are on the uh, south side of Gaylor. We have not been able to make our way into the city yet. Uh, most of the damage is probably about a mile uh, north of where we're standing right now. A few minutes ago, uh, Michigan State Police had these intersections blocked off. They have since taken off. This is very busy, a busy area for obviously uh, the first responders throughout the area. Michigan State Police telling people to stay off the road, stay out of the area if all at all possible. Uh, they are reporting within the hour or so several homes and businesses uh, damaged or destroyed. As far as an account on injuries, we don't have a specific count. We do know ambulances have been running through here this area uh, throughout the afternoon since the storm hit now about uh, four hours ago. We don't have any confirmed deaths right now. We're working to get that information right now, but I want to take to some video that shows you what this massive storm looked like, what this tornado looked like when it hit Gaylord. Now, the National Weather Service putting out a warning about 345 this afternoon for a massive storm. That tornado had parked over the city of Gaylord been picked up on radar moments later it slammed into the city it was a large cloud you see it coming down now uh, one of the main thoroughfares here in Gaylord on this video I want to go to some video of the damage uh, again Michigan State Police saying several businesses several homes just uh, obliterated by this storm as it tore through the community it came uh, through one of the main streets here in Gaylord uh, picking up uh, uh, homes small uh, businesses damaging roofs, just leaving a, a major path of destruction when it hit the ground. It then uh, stayed on the ground for, we, we understand, about five minutes before it lifted off and went in a northerly direction, and the storm tended to dissipate after that. Obviously still raining up here right now, but no more severe weather expected. We are going to wake our way into the community and show you some of the damage and try to talk to some of the people who actually witnessed this storm. You'll see that uh, starting at 10 on WXSP. Right now, we're live in Gaylord. Michelle, back to you. All right, Joe. Thanks for that. Appreciate it.